A very good evening to you. People living in and around Banwell in North Somerset have told us they will fight plans for a new bypass despite daily traffic jams through their village. They fear the new road will lead to thousands of new homes being built, as Scott Ellis now reports. The A371 in Banwell is a tight squeeze and some people who live here can't wait for a bypass. The police have been called a few times to try and direct the traffic just to try and alleviate the backlog of traffic. The frustration shown by drivers is evident. People often don't stop on the zebra crossing when we're trying to get into the school. Um, but pollution wise, it's, it's horrific as well. The proposed bypass runs north of Banwell with a new link road in yellow to the south. But that comes close to Felicity's house. She thinks there's simpler and cheaper options than £97 million worth of road building. Traffic lights would keep the traffic moving. We could put double yellow lines down to stop these idiots parking on these narrow roads and we would be having a lovely time. Others are worried about this. These days, the only way of delivering a bypass really is if you deliver houses at the same time. So the funding of the bypass comes from Homes England. So the bypass gets funded if you build 3,000 homes nearby. Some worry that will just make traffic worse as new residents commute. The council, those modelers, already tell us that the traffic will increase by 25 to 50 per cent within the short term and it'll be more than that once the houses are put in place. North Somerset Council's promising more public consultation over the controversial bypass this spring and hopes to start building it next year. Scott Ellis, BBC Points West, Banwell. Two teenagers have been jailed after stabbing.